Hi guys, welcome back to the Pom Pom Bros channel. We'll be discussing some raw dog food that you should avoid at grocery stores. We'll also be giving you alternative options as well. Although there are some good options at our local food markets, there are also many items we should be aware of. One of the foods that a lot of raw feeders buy when shopping around is salted canned fish. One of the lesser risky symptoms of our dogs consuming salt is that he'll be very thirsty. But the more risky symptoms include high temperatures, tremors, depression, diarrhea, vomiting, and even seizures. Not only does canned fish include salt, but it also has all sorts of different sauces and oils. Raw dog food should not have any sort of pre-seasoning on it because most of it is unnecessary toxins being introduced to our dog's body if consumed. There's no need for supplements or even herbs, which most often is marketed as holistic care for dogs. Real nutrition, vitamins, and minerals that the body can absorb and use are all found in whole foods, not powders. So an alternative to canned fish is whole fish. If you can't or don't want to buy fresh, lots of Asian markets sell bags of frozen fish such as sardines. I was at Walmart the other day and they had whole tilapia. I tried to go for a wild caught because a lot of farm-raised fish have too much unhealthy fat due to the condition that they're raised in. The second item I would avoid is ground meat. This is due to the fact that when the meat is grinded, the fat and skin is not removed, which could cause serious waste buildup in our companion's body. This is because when the dog's body is unable to immediately remove the toxic waste, it will then be stored mostly in the fat and the skin. So imagine continually feeding other animals toxins to our dogs where it will be stored if the body cannot eliminate it. So instead of buying ground meat, you can buy whole parts of an animal and remove the skin and fat yourself. You could also ask butchers at your market if they could do that for you. The third type of food I would avoid are chicken necks and chicken feet. Due to the same reason as grounded meat, chicken necks and chicken feet contain fat and skin almost impossible to remove. It may be fine to feed this to them once in a while, but continually feeding them fat and toxins will burden the body and its eliminative channels, including but not limited to kidneys, livers, eyes, nose, paws, anal glands, skin, and etc. Feeding too much fat could also result in vomiting and diarrhea. Same advice as above would be to buy animal parts such as chicken drumsticks with the raw bones and remove the skin and fat yourself or ask your butcher in your market if possible. The fourth food to avoid is tripe. Tripe at markets must be bleached and cleaned in order for it to be deemed consumable by humans. Most processed tripe is cleaned with bleach using chloride or hydrogen peroxide which is how it turns white. This process strips the tripe all of its nutrients and thus it's just a waste of money and empty calories added to your dog's meals. There's many online sources such as rawfeedingmiami.com that have natural green tripe. They also have whole prey and lots of different meats, organs, and bones options for you to buy for your dogs. Another item to avoid is weight-bearing bones such as beef femurs. Although dogs do eat raw bones and have powerful jaws, usually more than humans assume, it is best to be conservative and purchase bones we know our dogs can definitely tear through without breaking any teeth. Most local markets include chicken and fish, ethnic markets usually have quails, rabbits, and frogs, and you can pretty much source anything online. Again, check out rawfeedingmiami.com and I've also used BJ's raw pet food for whole prey as well, which my dogs absolutely loved. We have lots of exciting and informative videos coming up for you guys. If you like today's video, please subscribe, comment, share, and like. This could help a lot of dogs and provide more information for their guardians. Pom Pom Bros loves you. See you in the next video on Thursday.